Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. This is a weekend edition and this time it comes in 170 second scale. It copies World War 1 aircraft, it's Albatross D5. And we have a commercial sample here, so it means we will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see inside this beautiful box. And by the way, box art is really nice. I think all these recent releases which we reviewed yesterday and today, they have have quite nice box arts and I think Edward succeeded with them so it would be cool to see this one as a poster as well and by the way the box size is standard so here you can see comparison with my hand and in case you've missed it here we also reviewed the special P set for this set for this model and I recommend to check it as well because it will add some fine features to this small aircraft so box art is nice on the side we have some information about the manufacturer and also some safety devices. By the way, kit number is 7406. Here on the next side or on the opposite side we can see four marking options which are included here. So as you remember, a new concept of the weekend edition kits. It features more than two markings, which is really cool because it gives us a choice and you can find really interesting marking inside. So let's open it. It's a top opening box. And inside we have only one marking option, so, uh, I mean one <laughs> sprue, not one marking option. So only one sprue, but there is no surprise in that in my opinion, because that's a 170 second scale World War I aircraft, and it would be strange to expect something different. So let's open it, it's a receivable plastic bag. And in the meantime, I would like to remind you that you can also support us with a small donation. You can do it via YouTube chat or you can join our YouTube membership and it will give you some special perks. And one of them is a free kit every month. Nikki enjoys this benefit and if you want to know how it works, you can also ask him. But that's quite simple because you will be picking the next kit for your free kit a month. Okay, so here we can see one and only plastic sprue. It's somehow dark. I'm not sure why. Give me a second to increase a bit the ISO. Okay, now it should be a bit brighter. So here we have all the parts necessary for assembly of this tiny albatross. And you can see that overall parts design is standard, I would say. And the only thing which is different because we have a small scale, therefore both wings are molded as a single piece part. And it means you save some time, you won't have any ugly seams between two halves. But note that wing mechanization, it means the ailerons they're molded in so you won't be able to move them a lot. But now we can zoom in. Maybe I'll place the sprue just like this so it will fit fully. So here you can see engine parts. Also we have a tail wing which is molded together with elevators, propeller. Next we continue with the propeller hub and pilot seat. Here we have two fuselage halves. And they are more or less okay in terms of external features. As you remember, this small P thread which I shown as a separate accessory, it adds some fine features. So that's why I was recommending to check the review first, because you will know what will be actually fixed. But you can also check it after this video. Next, we continue with exhaust. And here we have some parts for landing gear. Landing gear wheels are molded as a single piece part. Tail fin is molded as a separate piece. And here we continue with another wing. This one is a lower wing. As you can see, we have a special recess slot for the fuselage. If we flip it over here, you can see the small proof that this part is molded as a single piece part. The same applies to landing gear wheels and tail fin. Next, we can see that there are some guiding elements in the fuselage house. And that's also a welcome thing because it will make it easier to assemble them together. Pilot seat is molded as a simple one piece part. And here we continue. Oh, so engine is also molded as a single piece part. And by the way, here you can see nice molded in features, which look impressive. And we also have this special installation slots for wing struts. So it will be quite easy to align them together with both wings. Okay, so that's the one and only plastic sprue and just to give you the, let's say, idea about the size of this fuselage, here is comparison with my hand, it's not that big. Okay, next we continue with decals and here comes another surprise because 
Uh, this decal sheet is bigger than some profit pack kits decals. So I will show it in a second. So we have plastic bag with decals. There are two decal sheets. We are going to open them right now and we will check everything closer in order to find out what is actually printed there. But I think it's not difficult to guess that the biggest decal sheet is dedicated to Lozenge, just like on some other World War I aircraft kits. I'm trying to remove these decals, it's not that easy as it might seem to be. So, first of all we have this large decal sheet as I said before. Let's close the camera now we can reduce the ISO so that it won't be that bright. And you can see that we have exactly what I said before. So we have Lozenge and these decals are printed in Edward. We also have uh, rib tapes. So everything looks great, but it might be a bit tricky to work with these thin lines. So do not hurry and definitely take your time while working with this stuff because it will be a bit tedious work to do, but it's worth it and it will improve the overall appearance. Definitely you won't be copying this stuff with help of airbrush and masks. I know there are some crazy people, but I wouldn't recommend doing so. And one more thing is this decal sheet. So here we have all necessary symbols for four marking options. Again, it is printed in Edward. I do not see any decals for the cockpit. Maybe these are the dials for instrument panel. And that's pretty much all we get. And here, by the way, we have the seat belts. So I would say that's a standard um, I would say package, but in case you are getting the separately sold P set, then you definitely shouldn't be worried about lack of features in the aircraft. Next we have assembly manual, so let's zoom out a bit. Here you can see that assembly manual is printed in color. We have short history note on the first page, something unusual for weekend edition kits. It was implemented in this new concept. Next, we continue with the parts map. So only one part will not be used in the whole build. So make sure not to break anything here. Obviously, there are no spare parts. Assembly process starts with the cockpit floor, pilot seat and control stick. Then you continue with engine, which is relatively detailed for such tiny scale. So I don't think you will be unsatisfied with what you will see. Next, we continue with machine guns. As you remember, the separate P set upgrades machine guns. So that's also a thing to consider. Next, you join FuseWatch halves together, install lower wing half and wing struts, top wing. And on the next page, we continue with landing gear and rigging, your famous part. So be ready to do this in a 170 second scale. That's something to, uh, let's say, enjoy. So be ready for that. Next, we have a rip tapes application guide so that you know where to apply them. These are decals, as you remember. First marking option comes from Belgium, September 1917. That's the aircraft we saw on the box art. Next, quite nice blue aircraft from France, April 1918. Here we have aircraft again from France, but that's February 1918. And one more here in a striped camouflage it is from belgium 1917 also interesting camouflage especially considering that you will have to work with lozenge on wings and tail wing so all in all we get a really attractive offer from edward in a small scale so some others will be happy to find out such a uh, set and it should be already available you can get it on official edward website of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye